There's gotta be some way to get that one right there. <laughs> this is the thing though, I, I don't know if that short, that little uh, shrug is uh, from the paper body slam or because of uh, when I asked, like, potentially where you at, because You've been here for five minutes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 3 a.m. over here for me, so I'm just wondering where are you at? Because... <laughs> that is a big bub. Yeah, that is a big bub bomb <laughs> The ones in the audience. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I mean, because, because like I said, right now, good question. I'd rather not answer. <laughs> yeah, because like I said, it's three o'clock in the morning for me over here, because I'm over in I'm over here in the states. Morning, sunshine. <laughs> you okay? Huh? You slept for a long ass time. Actually, I've been up for three hours. So oh, really? I'm out of my room. Because I knew you were around here, but then I'm like, just go. You're fucking go. <laughs> I was thinking I'm making you. Fair enough. I mean, I'm only five hours in, so... Sun and sunglasses, PNG. That's a real... <laughs> that's a real vague hint right there, Sundancer.
Luckily I had one of those. Here, I'll keep you from dying. Take some shoes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because of the fact that Mario went down and then got back right up again, you know what fits best with that? Uh You know what I'm thinking. Um PCP? <laughs> <laughs> No. That's clearly what PCP would do. <laughs> Make you feel invincible, even though you're not. No, you know what I was thinking of? But don't think I don't know. What? You need a little revive. Ugh, tastes like fermented herring dipped in ketchup. <laughs> One of my favorite Dempsey lines. Because <laughs> it's so accurate. What's interesting is, uh... <laughs> There was a guy I knew back in Jackport, he made actual uh, soda variants of the Perker Colas and he based them off of their comments from the uh, each character and what to describe it. Oh boy. I tried Quick Revive and I regretted it. <laughs> oh no! What did he mix with it? You get this. So obviously you need soda water to make it into a soda. Yeah. Oh, carbonated soda water. Yeah, like one of those uh, fizzy soda machines. Yeah. Well, what he used for the other stuff was he took... Don't get grossed out because I got grossed out. Anchovy water, clam juice, and paprika. What the f... <laughs> what the hell? He did it on purpose because he was trying to make it as accurate as possible because he said, well, Quick Revive apparently is horrible. So. Oh, Sundancer says there's a per there are Perca Cola recipes with official ingredients. PhD flopper contains. Was that supposed to be spelled like that? Uranium? Or were you supposed to say urine? I uh, hope. Uh, I hope neither one because uranium causes. Radiation poisoning and urine. No, that's not explained. <laughs> yeah. Either way, I don't think I want to drink PHC flower. <laughs> Luckily, my buddy, he only did the original per cola, so. So, quick revive, yeah. speed cola, uh, uh, jug, and double and tap. Double tap. Double tap root beer, you know what he did? He just took an IPC root beer and painted a double tap root beer over it. <laughs> He's like, they say it's the same they, thing. They say uranium 235. Uh, I'm not even gonna try with that one. The nuclear element of the periodic table used in reactors. Oh god. Dude, um, have, do you realize what that uh, people put in this before with radium a long time ago? And they got radio radioactive sickness from it. We haven't learned from the states. Do not drink it! <laughs> and it's canon, apparently. Oh, like the actual recipe of, like, the in-game recipe, or like something you wanted to make this? I believe? Maybe, uh, If it's in-game, that makes sense? Yeah, I think it's in-game. But if you're gonna actually try to make it, you're... Quick Revive contains cat piss. Wait a minute, is this like recipes like you can actually make or the they're the recipes that they did in Call of Duty that they pointed out? That was my question. I don't know. How did you survive with 15 to live? I I don't I'm just trying my best to uh just focus on the BP and FP to upgrade. That's it. Ow! Bullet Bob shot first! What is he, <laughs> No! That old Jesus joke Christ. of Greedo shooting first joke from Star Wars. Oh wait, Quick Revive contains cat piss, ammonium, and trench water. That's a bad, that's a, like a bad you know, combination. You know trench water is though, right? It's the freaking water that accumulates on the bottom of trenches. This is, this is real. Well. Data mine can sprite how the actual data miners can show the actual ingredients that were 
the can's designs. Please don't tell me someone actually went their way and actually used those recipes to make it because if that's the case, that's, no, that's, that's, then, that's a crime against humanity because it all sounds terrible. No, no, no. You know what I would say? The same thing as uh, the waiter told Gabriel Iglesias? What? Vaya con Dios. I'm not wrong, am I? No, but still, why would you want to drink it? Exactly! I mean, I kind of can't in game, but then in game. Yeah. In real life, I wouldn't even touch it. No, thank you! I don't care what the byproduct is. Apparently, Jeff Cola is really good. Like, sweet, like, really sweet. And what the guy, uh, my buddy did was he, for, jug for Juggernaut, he took Coca-Cola and mixed it, it, basically a, you know, a Coke float, if you will. And, but instead of having a, I think it was a Coke cream soda. And it works. Uh, I that was the, uh... Even though, even though I don't get the, the Eggnog kind of thing, but they were like, do you really want to drink Eggnog soda? I mean, egg nine on its own is hard to drink anyways because if you drink too much, you're gonna have a super upset stomach. Jeez. That's just raw eggs, basically. So yeah. he just made a Coca Cola cream soda. Yeah. That's for Speed Cola, he just mixed Coke and Sprite. <laughs> yeah. It has a new package. But wasn't that? Pinkberry! God damn it! I think when I, I, okay, I know there's no, I haven't seen any pinkberries in Texas, but the closest resemblance to that would be like, uh, orange leaf. You want all the, oh no. What? So do you want all the ingredients of speed cola? Please no. I'm, oh, you already ruined two of them for me. <laughs> I'm actually curious. What are the ingredients for speed cola, Sundancer? I swear to God. <laughs> that would make the most sense. Oh, oh map, basically. That would make the most sense because you're hocked up on meth, that's why you reload so fast quickly. Fun fact! Uh, in World War II, uh, Hitler, well, you know, who's the bad guy with mustache? He, uh, uh, actually, uh, forced his men to take meth during the Blitzkrieg. What the fuck? Yep. It's messed up. Yeah. Uh, yes, no, no. yes. Yes, yes, yes. What? They're they're asking yes or no if we want to know the ingredients for speed cola. I'm saying yes. for 12 years. <laughs> Sounds about right for double tap. Yeah. Or like the, you know how like the devil's cut uh, Jack Daniels is, where they just squeeze the Wait. Uh, the juices out of the, out of the wood barrel? So Imagine doing that with your beer. Carbonated water, glucose, cola nut extract, hydrolyzed crank. Huh? Oh, caffeine. yeah, hydrolyzed crank, caffeine, guarana, taurine, cayenne pepper. pepper. Cayenne pepper. Hydrated crank. Oh, it's math. So let me put it this way: carbonated water, because obviously glucose, cola nut extract, basically Coca-Cola, 
Mess, caffeine, guarana, tarn, which is all like stuff that you would use for like energy drinks and soda. And then cayenne pepper. pepper. All right, and this is basically Coca-Cola. Strangely enough, it's right because you know in the original Coca-Cola, cocaine was in it. Yeah, that is true. And in the 80s, they tried to like change it up, hence the new cola, by taking Coca-Cola out, uh, the, the Coke out of Coca-Cola. Yeah. And we all know what happened there. So they're like, okay, let's just make sure that we have spent coca leaves this time. That way we can still get the flavor minus the drug at products. <laughs> Sounds about right. And the rest was history. Now it's the coke we know today. Dude, I can't believe that we, that we found an actual like, case of unopened new coke in a, sh in a shed like 10 years ago. <laughs> it's energy drink Coca-Cola. Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. I feel like they would have done that by now, Coca-Cola, made an energy drink version of their soda. Yeah. I mean, Mountain Dew does that. True. Oh, talking about the water? Yep. And it turns one of the enemies small. Oh. It says at least Juggernaut is edible. Edible? What do you mean drinkable? Mm hmm. Edible that applies to like eating food. Oh! I wanted its ingredients. I feel like eggnog. Eggnog soda, that's all I can think of. Yeah, that, that's the only thing I can think of. Or it. eggnog mixed with Coca Cola of some sort. Or some type of Coke product. Yeah. Apparently, it's so good, even Debsy goes. Uh, Yoshi! One of these days, someone's gonna be sending you like the perk for the club. So it is. I think Jones Soda makes it. I could be wrong. I know they did the new Coca Cola Quantum in a pad. Yeah, the. Oh, the new. Yeah, the new Coca Cola Quantum from the Fallout, yeah. Fun fact for the viewers, we actually have a Fallout cookbook that actually gives us the ingredients for doing cola. Yeah, isn't it over there? Yeah. Yeah, the same thing with the God of War cookbook, too. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Carbonated milk, powdered crocodile eggs, spinach juice, pure gumption fortified with iron. Also. So it's carbonated milk with powdered crocodile eggs. So this has water, sugar, uh, zest of corn, zest of wine, zest of lemon, a cinnamon stick. I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, but cardamom pods, coriander seeds, star anise, and wait, hold on, Richard, and vanilla extract. Richard. So the they say carbonated milk. It's uh, they're assuming it used carbonated acids. Uh, like it has an acid making the mild taste like sour milk. Otherwise this would be this would actually taste like eggs and spinach juice as well. Uh, call that edible? It's probably edible because of the eggs. True, but still. Yeah, good luck going good luck going down on round five then. Takes one more. Come on, you use perks more than I do. Yeah, but I'm not gonna stop because of that. I don't think I want an actual drink of it now. They said it, it's pretty cool, like a diet drink or a smoothie. Uh, 
Oh, the sour milk, though, would make anyone gag? Yeah, that's a true given fact. Flinto? Yep. He had a... Oh! It smelled horrible. And I was like, it smells that bad. I, I don't want to know what it tastes like. And he goes, it tastes good. Then why was he drinking it in the first place? Protein shake. Fair enough. Yay, now I got the boat. Oh, you got new coral cloth in one here? Yeah. This one actually is better. <laughs> We got water, sugar, just a lemon lime, fruit punch, pomegranate juice, citric acid, and blue food bag. That actually sounds good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Also, I just realized my freaking Fitbit is low on battery right now. And Nuka Cola Cherry. You know what, what you gotta mix with this? For Nuka Cola Cherry? Nuka Cola Cherry? Yeah. What? Water, sugar, and uh, a cup of fresh cherries. That's it. Sounds delicious right there. Also, is that? Basically, you mince up, uh, you mince up the cherries and then squeeze the juices out of them. And you just mix it with sugar and water and boom, you got yourself a cold cherry. Nice. Now mixing that with the coke. That it's the most edible of the Perca Colas. Yeah, but it doesn't sound good though. If that's the most edible, then I'm not drinking any Perca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Stamina Up contains outright gasoline. Huh? <laughs> Stamina Up contains outright gasoline. Do you know what that does to your stomach? <laughs> it's gonna kill you. Anyone? Okay. In Fallout Lore, does anyone remember the Dirty Wastelander drink? Oh, the Dirty Wastelander drink from Fallout? Yeah. Oh, jeez. But they made, but it's, it's cool. It's a alcoholic beverage, apparently. Uh, yeah, oh, but they make it into a cocktail. Doesn't sound too bad. You need blackberries, blueberries, as the garnish, by the way. Uh, Nuka Cola syrup, Nuka Cherry syrup, and. Club soda and drum roll. Whiskey. Ooh, whiskey. Nice. That, how is that dirty? I don't know. That actually sounds good. So basically, it, it, it's implying it's a uh, Jack. Nice. Now this I would never try. What? So, they got this particular drink from uh, Fallout 4's uh, Far Harbor DLC. Oh, uh, they said high octane gasoline specifically. That's, just a, that's bad. That's even worse. If not extremely insane. Lethal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, from the Far Harbor DLC called the Vim Captain's Blend. Let's put it this way it's literally just a Bloody Mary with. With, uh, Some with, lo with lobster, uh, with lobster crab meat, particularly claws, uh, you know this? and yeah. celery. <laughs> I'm like, that good? I don't want that. There we go. Also, how the fuck did I get up here before? Let's see if I had to wait until I got the spring jump. Oh Jesus! There we go. <laughs> One thing I like about this cookbook is that they give you the actual, what the actual like, drink or food it is, and then you just cross it out and give it the name that it is. It is Fallout. Fallout. Yeah. This one, uh, if anyone remember, I think this was in, uh, yeah, this was uh, one of the drinks you can get down, uh, down at the pro rail on the Fallout 4 called Daddy-O. You know what it is? Tequila Sunrise. <laughs> nice. Ugh. Okay, the one thing I don't get is that they made stim packs as a drink in this cookbook. <laughs> they said, I'm sure after drinking any of the Perca Colas, you'll need a little revive. And not the quick revive this time. And eat the juggernaut girl, wake me up. Wake me up for 
stimpax! Yeah, literally. They made stimpax as a drink in this cookbook. Oh, and it's basically a jello shot in a syringe. Nice! Yeah, it's raspberry and pomegranate flavored, by the way. Raspberry, pomegranate, stim pack. Oh, nice. And they even made Rataway as a drink. Oh, Jesus. Which is uh, basically Nuka Cola and rum. In a. Well, it looks like uh, an IV pack. That makes sense. In other words, this is a, this is what a astronaut would drink in space. <laughs> because it looks like it would go there. Yeah. He's like, we just made it to the moon. I need a drink. <laughs> There's no open. I'm so alone on the moon. I need a drink. This rum and coke will do the trick. <laughs> Unless if it's Foster's. That's if I'm at Outback. <laughs> that is true. That's only if I'm at Outback. <laughs> Whereas Rusty doesn't care dad, where he's at. My dad. He drinks. Even he will admit it. He'll drink, he'll drink beer like it's going out of style. He'll drink beer like it's my tea or your Pepsi. He'll drink Pepsi like it's my Pepsi. <laughs> he does. What happened? I hit the, I hit the handle on the, on the pot. Like your hand against the handle? Yeah, and I almost spilled the water on me. Jesus. I was like, what? I think uh, that one shine sprite, I'm gonna have to come back and get it again later after I get the spring jump. Oof. There we go. To be fair, there's a lot to be said about the perks. That, that sounds about right. Still, one thing that bums me out, they took out for a couple of Black Ops games. What? The freaking characters uh, commenting about the Perca Colas after you drink it. Yeah. Those Yoshi. 
Toad boat, they evolved from a <laughs> What? They said toad boat, they evolved from a toad road. They're, they're talking about, yeah, the... One of the freaking special moves from Mario & Luigi Paper Jam was a toad road. But you can only do it with Mario & Luigi, not uh, both Marios and Luigi. Uh, favorite non-main story in Zombies? What? what? Huh? Favorite non-what? Non-main. Like, it's not part oh, of- Oh, one-offs? Yeah, one-offs. Well, okay, so I'm gonna say this right now. Technically, Marvel is Dead is not considered a one-off due to the fact that Blood is Dead is, is part of the, uh, storyline. So that means- Mob of the Dead is part of that story. As they said, examples are like the Mob or Blood of the Dead or the Chaos story. Yeah, any of the one-offs basically besides those. Mm. Oh, you mean like one-off characters or like, you know, or what? Just the story in general. Oh, which story is better? Like your favorite. They're all confusing in my opinion. <laughs> Literally, I don't even know what, which one's the correct one anymore. Like, the correct storyline. I feel like it ended in in uh, uh, Black Ops 2, to be honest, and then Black Ops 3, they were like, We need to come up with more ideas. I don't mean to take the, char the, the version from Origin of the characters and, you know, make it seem like that their task was to destroy this one guy called Shadow. And then next and, thing we know, it's the freaking, it's four different people taking on the Shadow Man, right? Yeah, Shadow's the people, and they only get one off, which is just enough, because some of them were kind of cool. Even though they were all bad in some way, but they were all like, you know, they all had like unique like... Oh wait, they're saying not like a one-off, but it's like not majorly impactful to the Ultima or bro Broken Aether. Like, Richterfin's team, JFK's team, and Russman's teams. Oh, so Victus, the Five team, and... Wait, which version of Richtofen are we talking about? Like, the Origins Richtofen? So, like, Primus or... Uh, Primus meaning the originals. And, uh... Oh, they said you can name Shadows, though. They did play into the Aether. Oh. My opinion, I think they like truly went off the deep end of the Aether storyline of Black Ops 4. Mostly because the, the storyline is absolutely confusing. Secondly, the east the the tasks you gotta do to complete those Easter eggs are even more stupid. Like, I think they were high or something. Yeah, I think that was ridiculous. I think from from me, uh, my personal favorite, mainly because of the people you get to play as, I'm sticking with five. Yet yeah, you've never played it before. <laughs> it's a good concept. You get to play as uh, JFK and the, uh, some of the other people. Like some of the- It's just like the only- every time when, when people bring up the, the map five, the only character anyone remembers is JFK. Because he's the only one out because of the four- No, he's the only one out of the four that everything he says is a speech. Everyone else is reacting to it normally, but he's just like. Who are the Who are the other three? I forgot. Nixon. Okay. Uh, McNamara. And if you don't know who that is, he was. Uh, I, be I believe he was. The he, he wasn't the president. I'll say that. No, he was Secretary of State, I believe, during the '60s. And uh, Castro, which everyone did not want to play as. <laughs> Literally, everyone's like, I don't want to play Castro, he's an asshole, or some shit like that. And I'm like, dude, it's a game. <laughs> it's not like you're actually playing the person. If you get stuck playing as Castro, so what? You're still playing the same damn thing. Oh, uh, they said it. there's four different Rictofins. Yeah, they're not specifying. Either main, zombie Rictofin, other Rictofin, and Prime. Yeah, Prime is the original. The main one is the one from uh, Origins. Yep. Uh, zombie one is the one that uh, uh, the one that came uh, swap places with Samantha. 
And then you got young, and you got all the originals, young veterans, which also makes no sense either. Because when you watch, like, when you uh, play Revelations, they say they all knew each other even beforehand. I was like, that makes no sense. Yep. Because they all came from different places. And they joined, the, and they banded together to stop the... But, no, they said, nah. There are, they were all, you know, friends at one point. I was like... Uh, but, in my opinion, one of my favorite maps to play... Oh, sorry. One of my favorite maps to play was, uh, Kino Boss time. HP, 4, 1, okay. Huh? Alright. He's a small, but he's a spirit, so even when his HP is 0. You have to separate Prime and other Rikofen after blood. Prime dies and Phoenix takes center stage. Stupidest way possible. Nikolai poisoned them all and then freaking Samantha just like deleted shit out of Nikolai. And then she just walked off with the gun with over them. Saying they're going to the big fly! Which literally was just nothing. <laughs> the great fly was a war between ourselves or some shit like that. And it was just. They were just trying to find a way to just <laughs> in <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to focus right now. Doom! One off! That worries me. Oh, hell. 
Oh, wait, I'm fine. Oh, Jesus. Alright, back to the weapons. Sword, saber, hook, rapier, and then Cortez himself. Damn it! It looks like he has a weak thing. Joking. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh no, shy guy, what are you doing? God damn you! He, he removed the food source. I mean, Kraut. <laughs> God damn it, Sundancer. <laughs> Yeah, that would have been seriously messed up, yeah. I'm like, damn. Ah, one off. You were already dead. Yeah, his spirit is tied to his treasure, so as long as the treasure is in his ship, he cannot leave the world. What? You're not even interested in my treasure? Then why are you here? The star that's behind you. Here you go. You want this? Oh yeah. This little rock over here. Are you serious? 
Oh, that's no big deal. Here, take it. What do I need one or two extra gems for? I did not really like that one anyway. I mean, he's an undead spirit. What do you expect? smell that right now. Oh Jesus. The freaking alarm? Alright. Alright guys, I'm gonna keep the game going and uh, cause I'm keeping my controller in hand, but I'm gonna step away from the camera for a bit. with one hand. <laughs> the seas descended to the underworld and fought the undead using the power of the heavens for a rock. That sounds about right for Cortez. You're telling me? Destroy my entire... Uh, 